Here's problem 2616. What is the total energy stored in the group of capacitors shown if the charge on the 30 microfarad capacitor is 0.9 millicoulombs? Well, we can calculate the energy stored on the 30 microfarad capacitor right now, but then we want to find the uh, energy stored on the other two as well. So let's try to approach this by finding the energy stored on the equivalent capacitance for this whole network. What we can start with is the fact that we're given the charge on the 30 microfarad capacitor. Because of that, we can figure out its voltage because we know in general that charge is equal to capacitance times voltage. So, the voltage on the 30 microfarad capacitor will equal its charge on the 30 microfarad divided by its capacitance for the 30 microfarad. That will be 0.9 millicoulombs over 30 microfarads, 30 times 10 to the minus 6, and that gives us 30 volts. So we know that there is 30 volts between these two points in the circuit. And since it's in parallel with the 15 microfarads, there's 30 volts across the 15 microfarads as well. And in fact, if we were to um, add these parallel capacitors together and get an equivalent circuit, which would look like this, 45 microfarads in series with 20, we would note that there was indeed 30 volts across the 45 microfarads because things in parallel have the same voltage and they have the same voltage as their equivalent device, in this case the 45 microfarads. So we know the 45 microfarads has 30 volts across it. We can calculate its charge because charge equals capacitance times voltage. So the charge on the 45 microfarads is equal to its capacitance, 45 microfarads, times 30 volts. So that is going to be equal to 1,350 microcoulombs of charge on that 45 microfarad capacitor. But we know that uh, that should also be the charge on the 20 microfarad capacitor because the two capacitors are in series and capacitors in series have the same charge. So we could calculate the energy on each of these now and get the energy total energy in this group of capacitors well, let's just go ahead and figure out our equivalent capacitance because that should also have the same charge. So the C for our series, or which will be our equivalent capacitance, will be product over the sum 45 times 20 over 45 plus 20, which will be 900 over 65 or that gives us 13.85 microfarads. So we have an equivalent circuit of 13.85 microfarads and it has a charge on it of 1350 microcoulombs because capacitors in series have the same charge as their equivalent capacitance. So we now know the charge on this 13.85 microfarads and so the energy stored will equal the charge squared over 2 times the capacitance. This will be 1350 microcoulombs squared over 2 times 13.85 microfarads. And that is going to give us what? 1350 squared divided by 2 divided by 13.85. 65,794 and that would be um, microjoules because we have a micro squared over a micro and one of the micros will cancel out. If I wrote this as millijoules this would be 65.79 millijoules. That is the energy stored in the equivalent capacitance but the equivalent capacitance is a equivalent representation of the whole network so that was also the energy stored in the whole network of capacitors, the whole group of capacitors. If we had figured them out individually, 
it would all add up to 65.79 millijoules. So that is our answer for this problem.